So it seems like there's a high quality and quantity of tight ends here. How does that affect your mentality when you're out there on the field? Uh, it definitely gives us more confidence in our offense and uh, especially in our group. You know, you know, I love working with the, the group of tight ends we have. You know, uh, I feel like we're all pretty sound with our assignments, pretty pretty good athletes, pretty good blockers, and I feel like we can all get the job done. So it makes us all feel pretty good when we know we can all do the job. The tight end unit as well, definitely a reliable red zone receiving unit too. I mean, what's your thought process when you're down there? Give me the ball. <laughs> That's the only thing we think about. You know, we feel like we're a good matchup against anybody. And, uh, you know, every time they install a red zone play for the tight ends, you know, we're excited. We're ready to run it in practice. And trying to redevelop a run game here at Oregon State, you really need to focus on blocking. How important is it for you and the rest of the tight ends, you think, to improve your blocking? That's uh, extremely important. You know, I mean, I think the tight ends are just as important as the offensive line and as the fullbacks when it comes to, the, to our run game. Because, uh, you know, we run so many... We incorporate so many two tight end, three tight end sets, and uh, we run so many inside zone, outside zone, and the tight ends are part of all that. So, you know, I think having Coach Tavita with us has uh, given us a big help with our uh, run blocking, and we're ready for a big year in the run game. In specifics for run blocking, personally, what do you think you need to work on to get to where you want to be? Uh, confidence and uh, hand placement. So that would be my two areas where I think I use the most improvement. And uh, you know, I think I did a pretty good job of that this offseason.